What's up guys and welcome back. Not gonna lie, I'm geeking out today. This video today is brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. That's right, Wizards of the Coast, the company that produces Magic the Gathering has sponsored this video. I'm actually geeking out. As a kid and even up through high school, I played Magic the Gathering a lot, not just because it has to do with magic, but also it told a story. And that story was ever evolving with each new set that came out. In the latest expansion, uh, Guilds of Ravnica, they've included a lot of really cool things. And one thing that drew me into Magic the Gathering as a kid and even now, the story the cards told themselves. For those of you who don't play Magic, there's also sometimes a little subtext and always included is an amazing piece of art. In the Guilds of Ravnica, there is one particular guild that really stood out for me, which is uh, the Dimir Guild. One thing I found very interesting with this artwork, it's very nefarious, very dark, filled with vampires, thieves, pickpockets, and that type of thing. One of the many cards that stood out to me, Mephitic Vapors, this one here. Ravnica's safest strongholds are often neither. I had an idea. Let's say we live in the universe of Ravnica and we are trying to get into this guild of Demir. I try to think, well, what's one of the tests that they would have you do to be in this guild? One really interesting thing would be lock picking. Today I'm going to learn how to uh, pick a lock and not only pick any lock, pick five locks in a row starting from easy to very difficult and if I do unlock these five locks, I'll consider myself to be a part of the Demir Guild. I'm geeking out. <laughs> I, know. I don't even care. All right. I don't even care. I love this stuff. By the way, quick shout out to Mike Boyd, a good friend of mine who has a channel called Learn Quick. Also learn how to pick locks. So go check out Mike's channel if you're into that as well. I'll leave the, the link somewhere below where you can check out his video. Without further ado, let the test begin. So in order to enter the guild of Demir, I must uh, first unlock a few locks. Starting with this one, this is the beginner lock. This is the one that will teach me about the inner workings of said lock. I left the link below to this lock, which you can see the inner mechanics of down below, as well as uh, the lock picking kit that I purchased off Amazon. I know a little bit about lock picking. I've seen some YouTube videos, and now it's all about choosing the right tools. Now. The this here is a little tension rod. So the way that locks work is you have this little brass cylinder. These little springed pins lock into the top of that brass cylinder. Uh, to unlock them, they must move upwards and remain there so that this can turn into that little groove. And then once that turns in, this uh, then basically pulls this out of the way, which then releases this and the spring goes up. So the whole point of this little thing, this little tension rod, is to apply enough tension so that when these little rods here are lifted, they won't drop back down because of the tension being applied to this cylinder here. So opening this one should not be so difficult. Um, opening the other ones blindly will be. Might be the best. I'm using a number six. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I feel like that's just slightly small enough. So. Uh, from what I understand, you can see the pins individually raise. See that, how they're like bouncing around? So these are jumping up and down. Now some, some locks are made to where if you jump them too high, it won't work. So you gotta be really careful and kind of like use your dexterity. Cause at the same time, I do have to apply tension here with this tension rod. So we're gonna bring this in, we're gonna apply tension and we're gonna start to try and pick this lock. And there we go. <laughs> as simple as that, we can do it again. This is, like I said, picking a lock isn't hard when you know what to look for. So now, let me try this again. And when you can, and when you can see what you're doing, obviously it makes everything a lot easier. There you go. Boom, lock is now open. That was the test lock. Now moving on to something a little bit more challenging. So first in line, we have this little guy. Now I'm gonna examine the key, and it shows you about the size that you need, I think, for the lock pick. It's a solid little, solid little thing. This tension rod might be a little too big. Actually, I got a small one here. Weird how that works. Okay, we'll keep the tension there. Bring in this, and here we go. I've, by the way, this is the first time I've ever picked a lock that was not transparent. Right now, I've never, ever, ever in my life attempted it. So this will be a small victory if we do get it. Besides, we have to get into the guild. This is one of the requirements. Oh, I thought I had it. Let me keep the tension there. No. This one's weird. I might need a different tension rod. Something like this, this little guy here. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, that could work. Ooh, I like that. I like the feel of that. 
So I gotta like loosen the tension just so I get my rod in there. Boom, and there we go. One and done. Moving on to the next. This one looks a little bit more difficult. Also, some of these locks, especially the last one, which I'll get to, uh, they've added things to make it harder to pick, and I don't know how difficult that's gonna be for me. Tension rod seems a little too weird. Let me try this one. That might be good, even though it's a little big. This is my tool of choice, by the way, number six. You can hear them inside clicking. And as I drop, as I let go of the tension, you can hear them dropping back down. And these locks are getting a little bit more difficult. I guess they have more pins and more anti-picking technology within them. For some reason, I think these tools are not gonna work. Let me look at the teeth. Looks about right, the size looks about right. Maybe this one's a little bit too small. I'm gonna try to jump in with something a little bit bigger. Notice that that tooth is probably around the right size. So as you take this, I can measure that up. It's probably around the right size, right? So we're gonna try with this tool instead. We'll leave this one aside. This is actually pretty exciting. Yeah, that one looks good. Let's begin. Ooh, this, this pick might be a little big. I feel like it's getting jammed up in there. Maybe the smaller one did work. Maybe it just switch up the tension rod here. Now listen, I'm gonna let them drop. You can hear them. Ready? There it is. Something's not working, and I don't know what it is. What's something like this with like, this one has two prongs right here, and that might do the trick. I think the tension rod here is a little slack. That might be better. Boom, baby, let's go. So it looks like this is the magic little tension rod that I needed. Two down. My little trophies, I'll just put them right over here. Two down, onto lock number three. You know, this one I've seen a lot in my life. Uh, the keyhole looks way different. Damn, okay. It's like not even, look at this keyhole. It's like all loose, what? I don't understand why it's loose. Look at the teeth on this thing. They're giant. I tried the bigger one here. Like I don't even know, I don't even know which way is the correct way. Cause I'm not hearing those pins. So let me just. I think they might be there. And I think this little turny thing might prevent me from trying to pick it. So let me see if I can get in here like this. And then I may have to move this in. You see the way the teeth are shaped is very different from the other keys. And this is kind of scaring me right now. So let's try, and this turns way too much. So let's try this instead. Let's try out a different, <clears throat> maybe there's something in here for that. Maybe one of these. I don't know, this looks like it could be a tension rod and a key thing at the same time. Imagine that just opened. All right, let's try throwing our trusty tension rod in here. And this bad boy, let's just fill it right up with stuff. No, that doesn't sound good at all. Hmm, it's probably not the right tool. <laughs> Maybe something like this. Little, little saw action going on. Oh, what? That was it. We got it. Yay. Three down. This one, I've also seen a lot. Um, I think this is gonna be an easy one to open. We're gonna go with our trusty little lock pick here. Good tension rod, this here. I think this will take me a minute, not even. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's a bit harder. I hear the pins, so we're on the right track. I feel like I'm not lifting. I feel like I'm not lifting the pins high enough. Let's try this one a little bit. A little bit better. Yeah, I definitely feel like the pins aren't lifting high enough. Boom. Let's go. On to the final one. This beast. The Master X series. Uh, one thing about this, which kinda, kinda scares me, 
is the packaging because it specifically says here on number three, pin tumbler key for increased resistance to picking, which is number three, which is there. And I don't know what that means, but hopefully it's just a sales tactic. Oh wow, that doesn't even fit in there. What? Might need this one over here. All right, we got that in. So the teeth on this key are quite raised and they have like a little double edge. This is it. If I do this, I get into the guild. Let's go. Oh, what? I can't even get to the end of it. Are we on the right path? Let's have a listen. Definitely. Might need that taller lock pick. I have a hard time getting into the end. I don't seem to be too big. It doesn't seem to be fitting into the end. And you really need a small. It's funny how you can even see, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but right there in that keyhole, you can see the first pin. Yeah, this one's pretty tough. Should we try something different? I'm gonna research what a tumbler pin is right now. All right, so as it turns out, folks, um, tumbler is exactly what we've been doing the entire time. So this lock is basically just like this. Uh, one thing that I did learn, which is really interesting, is the shear line. All these pins need to need to be lifted at a different height. But if you pass the shear line, the lock won't open, which is what makes it smart. This is why you can't insert any key into any lock and it'll open. The shear line can't has to be reached, and if it's brief if it's surpassed it won't open so sometimes I might be going a little too hard on these things I might have to just take a step back also I might switch up my little tool to use something a bit different so and we don't want apparently we don't want too much tension either so lock picking is actually a very subtle art no this one's not working this little saw hand here I'm inserting the uh, tension wrench, it's actually a tension wrench, into this uh, the opposite way. Maybe that will give me a little bit more, a little bit more control over the tension, I should say. Oh, let's go. Lock picking level 100 confirmed. Boom, baby. That's all five locks. All of these locks were just picked. Yes. I'm officially a lock picking expert and officially inside the Demir Guild. Well, all right, my pretties. We have successfully infiltrated the Demir Guild by establishing our lock picking skills. I'm actually quite proud of what I've done. I've never picked a lock in my life and I this was a daunting task for me to say the least, let alone unlock one lock in my life. I, I unlocked all five, uh, ranging from, uh, from from various difficulties. And as I mentioned in the video, if you guys are interested, uh, leave the link below to the Amazon where you can, uh, to the Amazon link where you can check out uh, this lock pick set as well as a practice lock. I was surprised knowing that you could just buy these I thought like only locksmiths were allowed to have these and there's an importance to know how to pick a lock and not just for you know breaking and entering uh, obviously but I think for your own personal knowledge uh, how it works it's kind of like a really intricate puzzle uh, that you're going into blindly which is always really cool and plus if you're ever locked out of anywhere whether it be your house or whether it be your shed or whatever uh, you can use these skills to help yourself out. So thanks again. Thank you again to Wizards for sponsoring this content. I really appreciate it. And you guys, uh, you can call me anytime if you want to send me some more Magic the Gathering stuff because the inner child in me is like screaming right now. Uh, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this content, like this video, subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Ah.